Hello and welcome to ISTV English News. This is Panorama giving you the news. Let's see the headlines. It's time Health Services and Manipur Medical Council looked into the services provided by private clinics and hospitals in Manipur. News in detail. The present scenario of health services of Manipur is improving a lot. Earlier, people used to go to other state for treatment. But with technological advancement in the health sector of Manipur, people can avail treatment at low cost. Private clinics and diagnostic centers are putting their best effort to treat patients. On the other hand, it is believed that some private clinics are trying to extract huge amount of money from patients. Patients are being admitted to ICU without any reason. As part of experimentation by some renowned doctors, patients who came for treatment for a disease got infected with some other disease. According to report received by the ISTV News, a patient who went to a private clinic for treatment was asked to do various tests unnecessarily, making the patient spend around 15,000 rupees. After conducting the tests, the patient was examined by a visiting doctor. When the patient was about to go home, after the examination, a staff of the clinic took the prescription paper stating that he will be given a computerized format of the prescription. When the prescription paper was given back to the patient, apart from the medicines prescribed by the doctor, extra information stating the patient should be treated in the ICU was aided. After taking the prescribed medicines, instead getting cured, the patient was diagnosed with other ailment. The patient was advised by other doctor that the prescribed medicine was highly reactive and it's not for the ailment he was examined. After taking the medicine prescribed by the second doctor, the condition of the patient started improving. The family of the patient was surprised by the experimental treatment conducted by the previous clinic. Moreover, it is reported that in some clinics, doctors are taking fees from patients for a mere advice also. Such conduct of some private clinics has disappointed the citizens of Manipur. People are appealing to the state health services and the newly formed Manipur Medical Council to look into the matter. Ex-Minister Mainam Nilachandra has expressed concern over the act of some people who are trying to take political advantage for the construction of indoor hall of BBA Mayang Imphal. He stated these at the press meet held today at his residence at Mayang Imphal Thanamaning Lairak. He further said he constructed the indoor hall with 5 lakh rupees from the MLA Local Area Development Fund and some amount from his own pocket while well, he was the industrious minister. Instead of taking up other developmental work in the burden page of BBA, some people are creating political controversy for the already constructed indoor hall. Such act is not the true act of a real representative, he said. <laughs> Mateng Pang, the Missula Iba, Pangsupang, the Mio Emnezi, Naduga, Ganagma, Social Worker Singna, Sahan, Sahan Bigi had a club, Sigi, Zagayam, Lai Sano, Indoor Hall, Hanas Harisumba, Ni Hum Zau, Zauvam, Sabibi, Maduna Club Pida, Yam Hayang, Kanakani. Council of Teachers Association Kota has urged the authority concerned to give out their salaries soon. The association, in a press release, said not giving out the salaries of employees is a violation of the government's order and Article 309 of the Indian Constitution. Mayra Paibis took out a torch procession around Singjamai area carrying masses of let's keep away ourselves from intoxicants to build a better future. The rally was organized by Singjamai Apunbanu Pilot. The Mayra Paibis marched from Singjamai Mayang Bamlekai to Singjamai Market. During the procession, they saw slogans such as Know the impact of intoxicants on our society. Let's apart ourselves from intoxicants and every kind of intoxicants are banned in the Singjamai areas, etc. 
Hisam is not ready to accept the basis of recruitment for 217 posts of lecturer for higher secondary schools. In a press release from the student's body, the essential qualification provided for the recruitment is beyond the rules provided by the National Council for Teachers Education. The minimum academic and professional qualification for the post of lecturer should be an MA degree holder along with BA pass. Before MPSC conducts the written examination for the recruitment, it should first follow all the rules provided by NCERT, the release for the stated. Komidok Athletic Sporting Club felicitated persons belonging to Maite Muslim who have done outstanding work for the people at Kabaisoi Community Hall today. MP of Rajya Sabha Abdul Salam, Pradhan of Kairan Gram Panchayat Noor Jaman and many other players were honoured with simple gifts during the felicitation. Addressing the gathering, MP Abdul Salam said, There are a few prominent persons among the Muslim community in the state. The number of Muslim players in Manipur, which is a powerhouse of sports, is very low. He expressed his desire for the local clubs and organizations to motivate the young students and players. <laughs> Let's see the headlines once again. It's time health services in Manipur Medical Council look into the services provided by private clinics and hospitals in Manipur. Thank you for watching our news and for more updates, please stay tuned.